for this week's homework assignment, you are going to be creating a drawing that's monochromatic. Remember, monochromatic means one color because mono means one and chroma means color. You can choose a color pencil or a crayon. A color pencil is going to work best. We are going to be showing in our drawing at least five different values. And remember, you did a value scale for homework that had even more than five different values. You can use a different color. Um, for your drawing. It doesn't matter if it's the same color that you used for your value scale. Remember, value is how light or dark a color is. And the more pressure you put on, the darker you can get your value. And the lighter you, you put pressure, the lighter you can get your value. I would first start um, out your drawing by sketching it in pencil. I did a very light sketch so that you won't see my pencil marks after, but it'll it will help me when I'm using pencil on top, so I don't have to worry about um, messing up or erasing something. So right now, I'm just going to start by using a medium pressure, not pressing down too hard. And I'm just going to go over the lines that I made in pencil. I'm not worrying about value right now. I'm just going over all the pencil so I can see my image more clearly. Right now, my, val my drawing only has one value because I've only been pressing the same amount on each part of my drawing. Okay, so now to get more than one value on my husky, your drawing could be of anything. It could be an animal, a person. It could be just a design. It's up to you. Now, what I want to do is I can show you by over here in the ear. If I want to get a really dark value, I'm going to press really hard. It's good to start with a very sharp color pencil. Then I can press a little bit lighter so it looks a little bit lesser of a value. Then I can press really light so I see some of the white showing through. So already I have about four values. I have my really dark value. I have a little bit lighter, but it's still dark. Then I have it getting gradually lighter and gradually lighter. I can have some areas of my drawing where it's all the really dark value. I can get dark and light values by doing other things, such as just drawing lines. If I draw my lines really close together, like I just did up here, it's going to be a darker value. If I spread my lines out, It might be a lighter value. I could also add lines on top, which is called cross hatching. If you do lines in different directions, so I did it horizontal and then I did it vertical on top. So that's getting me darker values by doing that. Or, like I said before, you can just in certain areas press really dark, really heavy, using a lot of muscle, and press really light in other areas. And then I can go really light where I see most of the paper. So by the end, my drawing should have at least five different values where I, you can see it's really dark. I press really hard. Other areas I press so soft that you can see the white of the paper showing through. Maybe certain areas I cross hatch to get value where I did in one direction, like vertical, and then changed my direction and did horizontal, and I was able to get a little bit lighter over here by not going over another line. So it's up to you what you want to draw, but you're only using one color to make your monochromatic drawing for homework.